Welcome back to Squawk Box. Wall Street veteran Alan Patrikoff is a pro at uh, spotting trends, including making early investments in AOL and Apple. His new venture capital fund, Primetime Partners, invests in startups that cater to aging Americans. Alan joins us now. He is chairperson and co-founder of Primetime Partners, chairperson and members of uh, co-founder, of course, of Graycroft. It's great to see you again, Alan. Uh, and we want to talk about this new fund uh, that you've got going because you've taken a different angle uh, on it, which is that you're going after uh, a, a different age group, both, I think, in terms of audience, but you can explain it, and in terms of entrepreneur as well. well Andrew, I, honestly, I've been in this business longer than I'd like to mention, but I certainly have never been as enthusiastic as I am at the moment about doing primetime partners. This idea has been in the back of my mind for the past year and that I was ready to do a third act. I had started Apex, I started Greycroft, and I wanted to do something else uh, before I my and I'm only 85. So uh, I've been thinking a lot about aging uh, the whole our society. We're getting the largest segment of our population in terms of growth is the uh, over 60. Uh, and yet the marketers spend the least amount of money on that area. And I think that there are so many potential products, services, experiences and technologies that are being built that could serve this market and that are just waiting for an opportunity at the same time, uh, which is really interesting. I think there are a lot of people who are in their uh, 50s or 60s who, who've done something, who created a, a business or a career and want to do it again and have their own second act. And I wanted to stand up in a soapbox and say, if I can do it, anybody can do it. And uh, I teamed up with a woman named Abby Levy, who had been the president of uh, Ariana Huffington's recent company, Thrive Global, uh, where uh, Greg Croft had been an investor and I was on the board. And uh, we got to talking to each other and found we both say, shared this vision. And uh, beginning of the year, we said, let's do it. And we formed this fund. And I can tell you, in all the years I've been in this business, I've never had any idea resonate like this idea has. We are, people are coming out of the woodwork uh, to Alan, be interested in what we're doing, entrepreneurs. Alan, let me just ask you a question, though, about, and I don't want to be an ageist about this, but many years ago, Peter Thiel used to say that he didn't want to invest in anybody who was over the age of 30. The idea being that when you're very young, you can take remarkable risk. But he used to say, I remember having the conversation, he said, after 30, a lot of people get into business, they say, I'm going to make some money now, then I'll go take the risk later. He says, but then you get a mortgage. You go back and you look at all of the, the real shoot-the-moon successes out there. Bill Gates was 20 years old. Steve Jobs was 21. Buffett was 26. Ralph Lauren was 28. Estee Lauder was 29. Look, I'm, I'm already over the hill at 43. Maybe my time has passed. But what do you think of that, that thought, that, that there's a, a sort of age range and that everybody only has, sadly, one great idea? Uh Andrew, I totally disagree. And frankly, the uh, academic studies of this show that the success rate of entrepreneurs who start at the age of 60 are twice as successful as those that started at their 30s. And, you know, yesterday I was talking with a guy named Jerry Della Femino, who was one of the great people in the ad industry. He's started three agencies and have sold three. And Jerry is 84 and he's ready to do another one. Let me ask you I mean, a different they're all uh, over the place. And, you know, uh, uh, but in terms, in terms of the type of business, though, that you want to invest in, you think that there's a, a cohort, an age cohort, that, that's not being uh, adequately uh, taken care of. And so the question is, what does that look like in your mind? Well, just think of your, Andrew, your parents. You know, they get to a certain stage. They need caregiving. They need entertainment. They need different kinds of travel. They need different types of, uh, if they get ill, unfortunately, they need all kinds of other products. One of the companies we've already invested in, a company called Carewell, is in effect a surgical supply, Amazon, but uh, e-commerce for older adults who, and particularly, obviously, the pandemic has only accelerated the need for these kinds of companies. We have uh, already invested in four companies. We've got a backlog of 80 companies, that, and we only announced last week that we were going into business. So uh, it just uh, it shows you that there is an enormous groundswell. And by the way, most of these companies 
are being started by very young people. And they get to it because they have a parent or a friend or a cousin or someone that they've seen age. And, right. uh, and they say these needs are not being addressed. And just right. for the reason you said, by the way, 